Hey, if you'd like to watch the full length high definition video, you can check the description for a link or come by jvondi.com. You can click the blog button if you like or go to the category drop down menu and click on tutorials and there's a whole bunch of cool stuff there. Thanks a lot for visiting the channel and we'll see you next time. Yeah. All right, hey, what's up? On this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a different way of processing vocals through Reason. It's pretty cool. They have the uh, pitch adjuster. It's called the Neptune. But uh, within that Neptune, you also have like a vocal computer thing. And I'll show you that really quick. What we're seeing here is just my basic default layout. So when I'm performing or something, uh, I'll be looking at this. Um, you know, I, I really don't, I won't have any need to look at it necessarily. But if I do find something screwed up, um, I'll be able to look at it on here and I always recommend having um, from now on doing the the mod panel 12 CV control board which I have just above my head and you can see that uh, channel 1 moving as I slide my fader on my little nano controller here that is the volume on my vocal so that uh, that comes through this lightsaber here that uh, is just labeled as VOC or short for vocal. So I'm going to open that. And I always recommend opening up a uh, setting everything up in combinators because uh, combinators has the programmer, it has CV inputs. And that way, what you do is from your mod panel, you'll go and connect CV. Uh, those control voltage lines into the combinator <clears throat> and that way when you want to change the sound or change instrument layouts uh, in for this particular channel like say channel one my vocal channel um, I can hit one uh, button on my nano control and scroll through the patches of the combinator which then will actually switch uh, scroll through different instrument layouts and patches in the instruments layout. So not only do I have it switching instruments, I have it switching through the patches. So that way, before I had it set up to where it just switched the patches of the individual instrument. But now as I switch through the combinator, I have it switching through patches via the combinator. So what we're gonna focus on is this Neptune up here. Right now I have it on bypass, so you just hear the vocals coming through. Uh, as soon as I enable this, um, we'll start to hear some crazy stuff. Um, right now we're going to focus on uh, this. Let me zoom in here for you. We're going to focus on this uh, part here where it says uh, MIDI uh, to pitch adjust to voice synth and then MIDI input. This is all combined with this mix channel off to the right, which uh, the one just you know on the left is pitched signal, which you can't see, sorry, and the one on the right is voice synth. So really quick, I'll show you that. And uh, yeah, oops, get that out of there. And so you can see those labels there, but let's go back to, uh, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna enable this. All right. So now the voice synth is selected and I have to play it down here. I have to play it on my nano control to talk through it, which uh, you can already hear the adjustment. Um, so now with the voice synth, you actually play the keys that you're going to be talking through. So um, if you want to pitch it up, just play it at that key and there you go what 